Good evening. My life today for October 22nd. The reading is entitled, Christ was obedient. The scripture reading is taken from Luke 2 verses 51 and 52. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Notwithstanding the sacred mission of Christ, his exalted relationship with God, of which he was fully aware, he was not above performing the practical duties of life. He was the creator of the world, and yet he acknowledged his obligation to his earthly parents, and at the call of duty, in compliance with the wishes of his parents, he returned with them from Jerusalem after the Passover and was subject unto them. He submitted to restraints of parental authority and acknowledged the obligations of a son, a brother, a friend, and a citizen. He discharged his duties to his earthly parents with respectful courtesy. He was the majesty of heaven. He had been the great commander in heaven. Angels loved to do his bidding. And now he was a willing servant, a cheerful, obedient son. Jesus was not turned aside by an influence from the faithful service expected of a son. He did not aim to do anything remarkable to distinguish himself from other youth or to proclaim his heavenly birth. Even his friends and relatives of all the years that Christ's life was passed among them, saw no special marks of his divinity. Christ was sedate, self-denying, gentle, cheerful, kind, and ever obedient. There is an important lesson for parents and children to learn in the silence of the scriptures in reference to the childhood and youth of Christ. He was our example in all things. In the little notice given to his childhood and youthful life is an example for parents as well as children that the more quiet and unnoticed the period of childhood and youth is past and the more natural and free from artificial excitement, the more safe will it be for the children and the more favorable for the formation of a character of purity, natural simplicity, and true moral worth. Thank you for listening.